I am sure there is some anticipation and there could even be a sell on the news. But the fundamentals, we put out a Bitcoin monthly piece every month and you can see the health of the network using our on-chain metrics. The health of the network is almost as good as it gets. And it seems like this is a bull market. Sure, we'll have puts and takes, nothing goes straight up. Uh, but I think this flight to quality, um, Larry Fink uh, used that expression. We call it flight to safety. You look at what happened during the regional bank crisis. Bitcoin went from 19,000 to nearly 30,000 as the KRE, the bank, the regional bank stock index was imploding. If you look at the bank stock index today, it is back down close to where it was in March. So when Larry might say flight to quality, which is good, it's true, we would say flight to safety because there's no counterparty risk. Kathy Wood and her firm, ARK Invest, exhibit an exceptionally bullish stance towards digital assets, with a particular emphasis on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Their confidence in the potential of these cryptocurrencies is underscored by ARK Invest's decision to launch five separate cryptocurrency exchange-traded funds, encompassing a diverse range of products that include both Bitcoin and Ethereum offerings. This strategic move reflects their conviction in the enduring significance and growth potential of these leading digital assets. Looking ahead to the year 2030, Kathy Wood has put forth ambitious price predictions. She anticipates Bitcoin's value soaring well beyond the $1 million mark, while Ethereum is envisioned to reach an impressive valuation exceeding $220,000. These forecasts signal a long-term bullish outlook on the trajectory of these digital currencies, emphasizing their potential to play a transformative role in the financial landscape. In a recent CNBC interview, Kathy Wood provided a comprehensive breakdown of her outlook on Bitcoin and Ethereum. She shared valuable insights on the evolving dynamics of these digital assets and offered her thoughts on the anticipated approval of spot ETFs, a development that could further propel the legitimacy and accessibility of cryptocurrencies in traditional financial markets. For those keen on Kathy Wood's views, the video extends beyond these discussions, concluding with her predictions on the comparative performance of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. Additionally, Kathy addresses an intriguing question, whether there could ever be a Bitcoin 2.0. This multifaceted exploration provides a nuanced understanding of her perspective and the evolving landscape of digital assets. With our partner 21 Shares, uh, which is the largest crypto ETP provider in the world, mainly European focused, we are launching five ETFs. The strategies are going to be around Bitcoin futures, Ethereum futures, one will be Bitcoin futures and cash, one will be Bitcoin futures and Ethereum futures, and then the last one will be broader Bitcoin and companies exposed to digital assets, right. equities. How much of this is a dress rehearsal in your mind for a moment in which the SEC says, okay, cat's out of the bag, you can actually issue a, an ETF that's directly invested in Bitcoin? Well, it certainly is a dress rehearsal. Uh, we think there's a place. I think uh, these strategies will be more probably institutionally focused, and, okay. and I think the Bitcoin, Bitcoin ETF will be perhaps more retail focus. Is that something you want to do eventually? A spot Bitcoin? Yes. yes. What's interesting about it is if you look at the pecking order, our filing is next in line. I think what has happened, the change, is that the SEC actually asked us questions. I think asked us questions, asked BlackRock, probably has asked a lot. Whereas before, our filings were just rejected out of hand. Okay. So that is movement. That is significant. And, you know, over the years, I've gotten to know the research people at the SEC and um, I'm very impressed. I was impressed by the questions they asked us too. So what were the kinds of questions they asked? A lot of them were very technical. They're uh, all about protecting the consumer. And, you know, of course, the showstopper, at least from Gary Gensler's point of view, is he thinks Bitcoin can be manipulated. And, uh, you know, this is a decentralized, transparent network. You can follow all the activity online. It's highly unlikely. Well, I don't know what it is. I have wondered, there's speculation that he's interested in the Treasury Secretary position at some point. What does the Treasury Secretary think fiat for the government? I mean, well, it, 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 very focused on, I don't know. I don't understand it myself because he definitely understands. He understands. So it's, yep. it, there's something else. There's something else. Okay, but let I am sure there is some anticipation and there could even be a sell on the news. But the fundamentals, we put out a Bitcoin monthly piece every month and you can see the health of the network using our on-chain metrics. The health of the network is almost as good as it gets. And it seems like this is a bull market. Sure, we'll have puts and takes. Nothing goes straight up. Uh, but I think that 
his flight to quality, um, Larry Fink uh, used that expression. We call it flight to safety. You look at what happened during the regional bank crisis. Bitcoin went from 19,000 to nearly 30,000 as the KRE, the bank, the regional bank stock index was imploding. If you look at the bank stock index today, it is back down close to where it was in March. So when Larry might say flight to quality, which is good, it's true, we would say flight to safety because there's no counterparty risk in Bitcoin. In terms of the ETF that is launching, that that, that invests in equities related to Bitcoin, what do you think will be the better performer over, let's say, five years? An ETF that invests in the equity related to Bitcoin or Bitcoin itself? Uh, we believe Bitcoin will be the better performer longer term. But this is a diversified exposure through equities. There are companies, you know, we're trying to find the company that is, is going to produce the digital wallet. That will be a very important position. Is it Coinbase? Is it Square? with Cash App? Is it Robinhood? In Latin America, is it Mercado Libre uh, or Nubank? But we do think that each of them has a very good opportunity in the digital wallet space. Basically, if you think about WeChat Pay, that kind of digital wallet where all financial services take place, there's peer-to-peer -peer interaction, there's commerce over it. We believe that you know the rails in the United States have been good enough, but WeChat Pay showed the way. And I think we have- But is that a one player winner? Meaning, you know, and by the way, Elon Musk would like to be that winner yes. with X if Absolutely, could be. absolutely. And I think he's got big plans. Absolutely, He started in the FinTech space and of course sold out to PayPal. So the reason we have focused as much on Ether, Ethereum as we have, is we think, you know, that is the smart contract network. That is the decentralized finance network. So Bitcoin so and Ether, deal. anything beyond that? Well, you know, there are infrastructure players. Uh, Solana uh, is doing a really good job. I mean, if you look at Ether was faster and cheaper than uh, Bitcoin in the day. That's, that's how we got Ether. Solana is even faster and cost effective than uh, Ether. So, you know, there are infrastructure plays. We do believe Web3, digital assets, that's a big idea actually, digital assets with property rights. First time ever online that we're seeing property. Can you see something more perfect than uh, I think most people understand that Bitcoin is the money revolution. This is the first global. A lot of people don't private, understand that because they haven't read anything about it. Right, private, so no gov government oversight. Digital, very important, rules-based monetary system in history. And Art Laffer, my professor, mentor, and friend, so we, we did our first paper on and took our first position in Bitcoin in 2015. When he understood what this was, he said, I've been waiting for this since they closed the gold window in 1970. Kathy Wood provides valuable insights into the future trajectory of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other digital assets. Her unique perspective offers a nuanced understanding of the constantly evolving landscape of cryptocurrencies. As ARK Invest introduces a series of cryptocurrency-focused exchange-traded funds, investors gain access to new opportunities allowing them to engage with these digital assets through more traditional investment channels. Kathy Wood's expertise in innovation and her knack for predicting future trends make her a notable authority in the field. With her significant vote of confidence in the potential of Bitcoin and Ethereum, she paints an optimistic picture of the future for cryptocurrency investors. The rollout of ARK Invest's crypto-focused ETFs not only reflects the growing mainstream acceptance of digital assets, but also opens up avenues for a broader investor base to participate in the crypto market. As Kathy continues to shape the discourse around the future of digital currencies, the outlook for crypto investors appears undeniably bright. For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.